Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, so I'm going to make some corned beef and cabbage in my crock pot. So let's get crocking. This is the corned beef that I bought. This is a three pound piece, and this is the point cut. They also have the round or the flat cut. Which is better? I'm not really sure. The reason I picked this one is because it had quite a bit of fat marbling through it and I think that just makes it a little more tender. Now it says to cook this on low in the crock pot for 10 to 12 hours, but since I'm getting a late start, I'm going to cook it on high. Um, but what I am gonna do is slice it because I think that will make it cook faster and get more tender. Okay, my brisket is all sliced up, so let's get everything into the crock pot here. Look how much fat I trimmed off of that. All right, okay, I put um, one quart of water in there. Now I'm adding in two chicken bouillon cubes. I've already put one in there. This is the chicken bouillon that you get in the Hispanic section. These are the ones I use most of the time. Now you could use uh, beef bouillon if you prefer, but I just kind of like the taste of the chicken better. Now uh, one tablespoon of onion powder and um, one pound of baby carrots and also a pound and a half of fingerling potatoes and now we'll just go ahead and get all our corned beef in there now I'm gonna get that all mixed together and I'll get the lid on there I'm gonna cook it on high for about four hours and after four hours or so I'm going to slice up some cabbage and put that in there. I'm not going to do it now because it tends to kind of get mushy and overcooked if you cook it for too long. Okay everything is mixed up and you know what I'm going to add just a little bit of Worcestershire to that too. A little Worcestershire sauce and now we'll get the lid on, turn it to high and we'll be back in about four hours. Okay, we're at the four hour mark here and I just opened this up and tasted it and it was a little too salty So I added two more cups of water to that. So I would only start out with one bouillon cube next time um, Now this didn't come with a seasoning pack So if it does come with a seasoning pack the one you buy you may just want to use a seasoning pack and no bouillon cubes at all, but Next time I would definitely just start out with one bouillon cube. So uh, added the water, it's fine now, just a minor adjustment. And you know, this is not traditional, but I was thinking some sweet corn would taste good in there. So I'm gonna add a can of sweet corn, juice and all. Stir that up a little. And now I'm just gonna go ahead, I sliced up about half a head of cabbage and I'm just gonna lay these pieces right on top and uh, let these probably cook for about another hour and um, then we will come back and give it a taste. I'll let that cabbage cook for about an hour and I just pulled everything out and put it on a plate and you know I tasted it and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Adding that can of corn with the juice and all really helped sweeten up the broth and uh, it gave it a much better taste. I was a little concerned about how salty it was in the beginning but you know add some more water and then adding that can of corn and then adding the cabbage turned out really really good. I'm really happy with it and the corned beef's nice and tender so um, I'm real happy with this. Hope you guys will try this. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time.